this is Jason Porter with the Red Hat uh, Red Hat Developers Program here with uh, Jeffrey uh, Smith. Hi. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. Very good. All right. And uh, Jeffrey works on OptiPlanner and kind of all things. Well, maybe not all things, but uh, <laughs> things related to uh, BPM and business process. Correct. Yes, indeed. Very good. Now, for the, those that uh, may not be familiar, wh what exactly is OptiPlanner, and how, how do I go about using it? Um, OptiPlanner is a constraint solver. So you basically have uh, a number of goals you want to uh, you want to reach, like for example, reduce your costs, uh, have a better uh, have a lower uh, impact on the environment, uh, have better employee retention, uh, have more uh, have a better quali service quality, right? And uh, and you, you what you're doing is, for example, you're uh, delivering items across a country, right? Or okay. you're uh, assigning sh uh, shifts to employees, or you're somehow planning your organization, right? If now, if you have one of those planning problems, uh, you have a number of resources to do that, such as uh, the vehicles, or the buildings, or the rooms, or the, or the, your employees, right? And uh, those have a limited amount of time, and and you also have a limited amount of budget. You cannot you not cannot keep buying vehicles. Sure. Keep keep hiring uh, employees. So with those amin limited amount of resources, you want to do that plan as efficiently as possible. But the problem is you have a number of constraints. Constraints are things like uh, a person can only work eight hours a day. Right. So right. when so when you put a driver into a vehicle and a vehicle starts driving around the country, he needs to be back uh, at the depot after about eight hours, right? Uh -huh. So, um, uh, and this impacts in which order you can visit locations, you know, how many items you can drop off, and the more efficiently you do that, the less, uh, the, the more visit locations you can visit, sure. or the less time you need, the, uh, or usually the less time you need to drive on the road. So the more you can invest in actually doing something useful, useful like for example, if you're installing cable, you could spend more time at your customers, right? Uh, or you could uh, do the same job with less employees. So it depends, of course, what you do with the gains, right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, one one of the things that uh, I've got a question, may, maybe others do as well. Uh, where does OptiPlanner play in with Drools? Does it use Drools? Does Drools use OptiPlanner? What, what's that relationship? Yeah. So uh, in OptiPlanner, you need to define your constraints. For example, you need to say um, if there is too much, um, uh, if you're driving nine hours instead of eight, then uh, we want to uh, enforce a penalty, right? And there's different types of penalties. But anyway, um, when you want to implement that, you have three options. And one of them is Drools. Okay. So, and that, that's the best one. Let me explain the other one. The other two are, uh, so the first one is just plain easy Java. The okay. problem with that is that it's um, uh, from scratch calculation. So if you have a big plan and one little thing moves, it recalculates the entire plan from scratch. This is a huge scalability problem. Right. Um, so basically if you have a, a data set of a, n elements, right, you have a thousand variables, 10,000 variables, you the, the gain on that is just is, 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 is usually the number of variables divided by two, if you're not doing that. So easy Java is, is not really uh, useful for it's, production. It's use. easy, but it's not all that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So the other one is incremental Java, which is, um, well, it is the fastest, but it is basically a writing assembly. You have to write your own deltas, incremental calculation. It's pretty much insane. And then the third option is Drools, which is rel very close to that incremental Java, where you write your constraints as Drools rules. Uh -huh. but, and the nice thing is they are nicely isolated. So you have, you have one constraint that says, okay, um, um, don't go over that limit of eight hours. You have another constraint, which has uh, this particular uh, visit needs to be delivered by a vehicle which has um, which is bigger or okay. has more armament or something like that, right? right? Okay. And so forth. Um, and so those rules are nicely isolated. And the big thing is, of course, they're also incremental. So, but you don't have to write it. You you don't have to write that that hard code of. Uh, uh, updating indexes and maps and, and all that right. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I can yeah. use uh, Drool yeah. and all of its UI and whatnot to build, yeah. build things. All yeah. right, very good, very good. Now, uh, where where do I go to uh, to get started using OptiPlanner? Ah, you just go to OptiPlanner.org. Um, there's two buttons on there. The green one is to download it, and then you can just run the examples uh, on your machine and, and play with them. And the other one is a blue button that goes to the documentation, so you can start reading. Uh, the documentation is pretty big, but there's also another link I would like to point out. Uh -huh. That's if you click on the learn thing, there is a, a use cases list. And in that use cases list, you can see uh, three use cases explained in detail, such as the vehicle routing problem or the employee rostering problem. Um, and there's also uh, a video about very other use cases. So uh, every example that we have has a video. So for example, there's a video on, on uh, assigning hospital beds in a hospital. Okay. There's one about investment portfolio optimization. So you can choose stocks better that they 
um, given an, an amount of money that they are um, uh, that you reduce your risk basically um, and uh, there's many more right a task assignment is also a very nice one where you're assigning tasks to employees based on skills and affinities and, and so forth so yeah we have we have like 17 examples now uh, uh, um, I can't go through all of them. Oh, very good now on the um on the product side, I believe OptiPlanner is part of the BPM suite. Is that right? Yes. It's, so it's part of uh, BRMS and BPM suite. Oh, it's both. Okay. Yeah. So everything that's in BRMS is also part of BPM suite. Uh, but BPM suite is a little bit more expensive than uh, BRMS, of course, right? Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, if you uh, if you have a Drools uh, a BRMS subscription, you get the, the Drools Rule Engine and you get OptiPlanner. If you have a BPM Suite uh, uh, subscription, you get bo two Drools and OptiPlanner and JBPM on top of it. Very good, very good. Now, uh, what, uh, what what do you find most interesting about uh, being in this uh, in this planning space? Uh, I'll, I think it's fun. You you, you 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 well, the most interesting part is definitely you see a problem, you optimize it. Uh, given some, uh, or, or, or a human planner optimizes, you, you get an optimization, you see a schedule, and you think, this looks pretty optimal, this, this look looks optimal. Uh -huh. I can, uh, for example, there's an, an, um, how to go to number of locations, right, with the vehicle routing problem, right. and you, you change one location, you change one order, or you start changing things, and you see, you, you cannot find a better solution. You cannot find a solution <laughs> which, given the hard constraints, that, that you have to do it within eight hours per trip, uh -huh. Um, and and get, you cannot find one that, that's shorter, uh, that, that does it in, in less time, right? But uh, if you then give it to more and better algorithms, right. turns out it, there it'll, are. It'll find something. Yeah. yeah. So and if everybody, you can be in a room with managers and, and human experts and everybody, and everybody can agree it's optimal, but it's like a, the whole room is colorblind. Right. Because, right. yeah, if you do have the, the, the calculations, you can get there. Yeah. Now, if, I, if I've got a problem that uh, I, I put into OptiPlanner, is, is it something that uh, I just, you know, I, I hit the go button and, and let it run forever until it's complete, or do I say uh, I've only got half an hour to run this? I'm yeah. going to run it for half hour, see see what happens. Yeah. So you can specify your time up front uh, because it will actually keep running. It will start trying to improve, uh, keep improving it. Usually, if you want, unless you try one that's exhaustive, where you try all the combinations or a subset of all the the in combinations that might lead to the optimal solution. But uh, those, once you start scaling out, uh, takes millions and millions of years. So you're not going to waste <laughs> that amount of time, right? right? right. So uh, what you do instead is um, you, you just start it. And if you have five minutes, you're in five minutes. If you have 30 seconds, you're in for 30 seconds. If you have an entire night, why not? Right. What, what you do see is the first few seconds, it can easily find better and better solutions. As the time goes by, the, there's the law of diminishing returns. Right? So the first, sure. the first few seconds, you, you, you see that score going up 10%. Uh, at the end, uh, in the end, it's an hour to go up even half a percent or something like got that. Got it. Right? Got it. So now, does it uh, does, does it cache those those results? So say I've got uh, 30 seconds right now that that I want to run it, yeah. and then maybe tomorrow I've got another two minutes I can run it. Can can I pick back up yeah. from from where I left off? Yeah, and you can even change the problem meanwhile. So oh, okay. So you can do warm starts, but so for example, you 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 calculated for eight hours you have your optimal schedule right or near optimal schedule right and you're going to put that in production and just before you, that that truck is about to go out the door there's a customer who calls and says yeah can you <laughs> pick up something for me too oh right so yeah. now, now we've got to add that in there okay yeah. so oh, you add that in and, it, and it, it warm starts on the previous solution and and it doesn't have to restart from scratch right so it's it's, it's faster oh very good very good and uh, again if you're interested in getting started with OptiPlanner that's OptiPlanner.org correct? yes, yes. Very with, good. with an A, a Opta Planner Opta right? Planner yeah. right alright very good uh, that'll do it uh, for us today thanks for being with us Jeffrey thanks, take yes. care